Hey, what's up everyone? Maury Croson here from the Performance Lab of California and we got another breakdown here for you today. We're going into sprinting. We haven't done sprinting in a while with the breakdowns. I mean, I, I do them for the people that are in our, our online um, sprinting program, but I haven't done it for a while for our YouTube channel. I'm super excited. Here is the 2018 Outdoor USA Track and Field Championships and I just want to say and there, there's not a lot of information out here, but there is a little bit of a controversy at the finish of this race. And so we'll go into a little bit of that. We'll go into Nora Lyles. We'll go into Ronnie Baker. Some of the things that, that really differentiate the two, because I think what's excellent about this in particular race is we we're able to see some unique sprinting mechanics from two different sides of the, of the um, spectrum here. One, Ronnie Baker excellent acceleration excellent job getting out of the blocks noah lyles excellent job of being able to finish excellent job of being able to, to really uh, achieve a lot at the at the top speed um just to give you a bit of a of a information in case you don't know noah lyles ended up winning by 0 0.02 seconds um and and so and, and that's you know we we think slower than 0 0.02 seconds you know that that the difference in the margin of difference there and you'll even see it here and when when we get into it um it is just so small and by being able to really focus on the nitty-gritty of sprinting and that's why we do this particular breakdown is because there's so much that goes into being able to fully maximize your your run and i think the podcast or the um the channel is, helps you in, in being able to, to really go into the nitty-gritty here so let's go and hop right into it so in case you don't know noah lyles right here in lane four ronnie baker lane three and really at the beginning we'll take a look more so at, at ronnie baker we'll, we'll also compare ronnie baker to noah lyles so both guys have a, have a pretty good step here notice the difference though in ronnie baker ronnie baker has a pretty good angle there through his body noah lyles is a little bit more bent over now I know Lyle is also a little bit more tall, but this is a much better overall spine position than that there. So the how, what does that end up doing? And, and you can see a little bit better step there, not a huge difference, but then going into that second step, he definitely gets a, uh, further out here. And now no Lyle does a better job of correcting his spine position in that second step, but really Ronnie Baker is just kind of maintaining it, his same spine position. Third step, again, Ronnie Baker overall, much better spine position and, and Ronnie Baker's really in, in one of the top positions here in the overall in the overall sprint right so he's he's um you know probably winning here it's hard to, to for sure tell you know the guy in lane lane five looks like he's also in a a good position as well so it's hard to, to 100% know but it does look like he's at least in, in the top and he's definitely beating um definitely beating Noah Lyles okay then we go into the fourth step here and you can see that as he's going he, he's definitely um, maintaining a much more upright position compared to everybody else so he's going to be able to get to his his top end speed a little bit faster so you know really what what is acceleration is in, in terms of for the something like the 100 meter dash is how fast can you get into your top end so if you know during that acceleration phase you really want to be getting out of your acceleration phase and in order to maximize that acceleration phase it's really about getting to your top end speed phase and that's what ronnie baker does very very well right here i mean look at that reach that he was able to get on this step in comparison to everybody else where they're really not able to get that reach see, see how you know it's a he's reaching well when he can go and extend that knee fully and he's really the only guy that could, was able to do that look at this next step um, even for like Noah Lyles, he's really not reaching. He's really not being able to get a good pull. You know, some of these guys, you know, are starting to be able to get get good reaches here um, with their with their steps. But really, Ronnie Baker was able to achieve that the fastest, and that's why he is able to get into a really good start. And and, and as he's going here and, and and gets going, he's in a really good position. I mean, here he's definitely out in front. And in, in terms of watching his individual sprint. You know, what he does is, is he does a good job of being able to generate a, a good amount of, of fast knee drive, but he doesn't get that a good extension. So this extension here, he drops that knee and comes down and then pulls back. And so what that does over a period of time is it just 
makes it so you don't pick up as much ground. Ronnie Baker could definitely pick up more ground each one of his steps. And then we'll go to Noah Lyles and, and look for, for the same step, that right step. Look at how he drives up. And then from there, he doesn't have much drop in the knee. He just goes right from there into extension. So he has a, a large amount of reach in each one of his steps. He's really able to, to go out in comparison to, again, if you look, Ronnie Baker, and they both get to, to max knee flexion at a similar time, right? So see here, boom getting up to max knee flexion and then once you get into or sorry the max hip flexion so once you get up, up to hit that max hip flexion now look at how ronnie baker just goes right away into extension and kind of drops that knee down while no allows a better job keeping that knee up and then extending and then being able to pull from that position so he's going to be able to reach a lot further and pick up just a, a, a little bit more ground right? i guess a lot's not a good way of putting it it's really just a little bit more ground a little bit more ground each one of his steps and, and that ends up being the difference here is he's able to again get more of that reach and then also when he pushes off the ground he does a really good job no allows here he does a really good job pushing vertically in his his steps look at how when he, he goes and he pushes off he maintains a little bit more of a knee bend but then when he goes extends look at how much uh, plantar flexion he gets in, in his foot as he's accelerating that really allows him to then drive up with that knee and really reach out and, and and fully get good extension again comparison in comparison to some of these other guys where i mean plantar flexion is not bad but it, it's just not as much of that like upward push right he can really does a great job of getting upward pushing and that's i think what ended up separating him as we go through the actual race i'm going to keep on going going here um to through to the end and, and one of the things that i i really you know slowed down and really was was looking in, in detail and what's kind of happening here one thing that i thought was very interesting and you can see it better as we get closer is notice how and and really everybody does this but notice how when they go to knee drive how their their posture is right and maintain that posture i'm huge on posture and making sure that's that's in, in a good overall spot but then it goes from posture to then extend and then as they extend they kind of have this this pull that they do with their or, or really everybody does it but really i'm focusing on no allows here but they kind of pull forward with their head pull forward with, with their body as they're trying to get that next step in and some of these guys you could really see so they get that knee up and then pull the, that head forward now we're looking here at ronnie baker pull their body see how they really pull their body as they're they're bringing their leg back they're really pulling their their torso and their body forward we'll also look here at, at jeff demps here notice here knee drive extend and then big emphasis on pulling the body forward as he's going in and transitioning from each step and, and and really he does a lot more on the left side here Jeff Demp see how he goes and, and extends and as he extends see how he pulls his his like head and his body forward it's a very important thing to, to, to think about is that when you're trying to extend because you do you really want to be pulling back with that that leg as you're running and when you're pulling back with that leg it helps to pull that that torso forward so then you land with your foot right underneath your body so what I, i'll see is that when people start to just pull back with their legs sometimes they'll land with their feet a little bit too far out in front of them but here what happens is you do a much better job of landing with your body underneath you if you can pull you know think about pulling your body forward as well as think about pulling your your leg back and i and i know that took a little bit before we got to that but um i hope that the, at least the people that are watching fully understand that like as you're transferring your body forward or as you're running and, and you're transitioning from that your your leg is out in front of you it's fully extended you're pulling your leg back underneath you and as you're pulling your leg back underneath you, you're almost like propelling your torso forward to make it so then everything comes in in contact a lot a lot faster and it will also probably help you in how you push off that back leg and not making it so there's very long of a of a foot contact so that's a, i think a very critical point that i hope that you can you know rewind and understand by by watching this this breakdown now to what I wanted to get to with the, the controversy, which was very interesting, is that if we really slow it down and really look at what happened here, if Ronnie Baker's feet crossed first, or foot, I should say, not feet, right? That His foot definitely crossed first right here. You could see where his foot is on the line, and it crosses before because, you know, the, what's in front here for, no, well, that was obviously his, his foot. His head's coming a little bit, 
more, but his foot crosses the line first, right? But what is the true judgment of who wins is torso. So definitely Noah Lyles gets that, that torso through, but it's interesting where it's like, well, you know, if it comes to body part, like if it was swimming, it's who touches the wall first, right? So if it was a swimming thing, um, Ronnie Baker would have won because his body or, you know, a body part crosses the line first. And, and that's, you know, there's no doubt about that. But they're in, in the USA track and field, how it is, is your torso has got to cross the line first. So it is still Noah Lyles, but just I think it's very interesting how, Again, Ronnie Baker did did cross the line first with that with that front foot. So um, yeah, just an interesting finish there. Just thought I would I would bring that out to uh, to your attention. Um, and also, hopefully, you get some good information from from the breakdown. We have a lot of these breakdowns. I'd say you know doing the like um, checking out Trayvon Bromel, talk, checking out Michael Norman. Some of those ones are really really good, really really helpful. Um, and, and yeah, if you guys have any questions, please reach out. We do have a speed program. Um, would love to be able to help any of you guys out there looking to get faster. We go and create workouts for you. We do these breakdowns for you, really get into the specifics of how you can perform more like these top tier track runners. Um, and yeah, it's, I, I, the, the people that we've had in, we've definitely seen some massive improvements. Um, and then also some little improvements. I mean, going from a 10.9 to a 10.6 is not necessarily um, a, a huge improvement, but that is you know, small improvements that make it so you can get, you know, 0.3 seconds in, in, in terms of track and field really make a big difference. So, um, yeah, as, as we were saying that I think the speed program really helps out. And if you have any questions, please reach out. My, my email is Maury, M-O-R-E-Y at yourperformancelab.com. Thanks and looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And if you did, you can subscribe down below and that way you can get updates on any of the new videos that we get. Also, if you want to, you can check out some of our other breakdowns for speed and throwing. We have exercises, also jumping mechanics videos, a lot of great stuff within our channel. Hope you enjoy.